Folks, thanks for joining me on this momentous occasion. Not many people are aware, but it is Lexus Hybrid Drive Awareness Month. Actually, nobody's aware because I just make it up. But I do have something interesting for you today. I don't know where I heard this, maybe I dreamt it, maybe I just made it up. But at some point in time, I heard that volts equates to speed and amps equate to perhaps torque or power. So what we have here today is a shootout between these contenders. In this corner of the table, we have a 300 watt, 30 volt, 10 amp power supply. And on this side, in this corner of the table, the Challenger, also 300 watt, 60 volt, but only 5 amp bench power supply. So what I'm going to do is absolutely silly, but maybe it, it will work, and maybe we will learn something from it. Maybe we will answer some questions. So what I've done is I modified Damien McGuire's uh, VCU a little bit. I modified the gauges. And what do I mean by modified? I dumped down the hell out of them. So now I've added a Speedo to the gauges. And I made him look a little bit different. This is his uh, GS450H uh, VCU, Vehicle Control Unit. I'm running a different uh, Wi-Fi card. This one has a USB port. It's a little bit easier to program. Uh, he provides us the red card. Those are cheaper. They're great cards, but they're a little bit more hard to program. A friend of mine hooked me up with this. Thank you, Arthur. You're the man. Anyway, um, we could just go by RPM, but I've uh, used a formula to set up uh, what I guesstimate are the miles per hour. I factor in my gear ratio of the 1971 GMC that I'm about to convert to electric. I factor in the tire size, circumference of the earth, you know, uh, what have you, and uh, came up with a formula that I think is pretty accurate. So what I want to do is I want to power the Lexus GS450H transmission, which ha happens to have two electric motors in it. I want to power it with these bench power supplies. You don't need 600 volts to make that thing spin, okay? When I have it in a car, I'm going to be using 360 volts. I'm going to be using a BMW 530E hybrid battery pack. Or two or three or four of them. But in parallel, so I'll never be increasing the voltage, I'll just be increasing the amp hours to give me more range. But anyway, uh, you can spin that motor with two car batteries um, in a series, giving you 24 volts. Uh, this happens to be 30 volts, it spins that motor just fun, fine for testing. This is 60 volt, it also spins it fine. The advantages of using these dinky uh, bench power supplies is that we don't have to worry about the pre-charge circuit. We're sending such a low voltage and, and, such a, and pushing so few amps, you know, 10 amps with this guy and uh, 5 amps with this guy, that we're not concerned about the capacitor or six sets of capacitors inside that inverter that's on the floor here in front of me. We're not going to blow it up, okay? It's a fraction of what that box can handle. So these are safe for testing. Uh, I like using them. And uh, we will be using a regular car battery. The regular car battery, which of course died on me right before I wanted to make this video, so it's being charged. But the it's, it's really a, um, 
deep cycle battery, but just pretend it's a car battery like you can get at O'Reilly's or AutoZone, 12 volt battery as we call it. That battery will just provide 12 volt power to this uh, VCU, which then will, I believe, provide 5 volts to a BMW E46 Hall Effect throttle pedal, which we'll be using to give it gas, if you will. And um, the car battery will also supply 12 volts to our inverter, and it actually provides 12 volts to the neutral safety switch on the transmission. That's all the things we need to make the magic happen. I'm not going to go over how I connect everything. I made a prior video on that. Uh, if you like to know how this is all connected and what each wire does, please go back in, on my channel and find a video where I talk about the ba basic connections. This is where we pick up where everything is hooked up and we're going to uh, run the 300 watt 30 volt 10 amp first and then we're going to run the 300 watt 60 volt 5 amp first. Note that they're the same power, okay? They're both 300 watts. If, anyway, enough for rambling. Um, let's get started. Thank <laughs> you. 